Hi, I'm Michael Meda, and this is the anatomy of the human eye. Here, we have a blue eye as we see it. And here, I will be discussing the anatomy of the human eye. Here, we have the eyelashes, which are not actually part of the eyeball, but just a protective part on the skin around it. The first thing here is the cornea. The cornea is the transparent outer layer of the eye that first collects the light and begins the focusing process. Over here, we have the iris. The iris is a photopigmented muscle that's responsible for contracting and dilating the pupil. The pupil is the actual opening for light to enter the eye. The light then travels over to the lens. The lens does a lot of the fine focusing of the light and sends the image over to the back of the eye or the retina. The retina contains different photoreceptors. These photoreceptors are called rods and cones. So these are the rods and the cones are the ones that are drawn in different colors. Cones have three different varieties, blue, red, and green. Thus, they are responsible for our color vision and bright lighting. Rods, on the other hand, are all the same photopigment. For this reason, they are used in dim light settings and do not produce a color image. Combined together, we have color and black and white images produced by the retina. So far, we have covered all the major parts of the eye through the anatomy here and as we see it from the outside here. I'm Michael Meda and this has been the anatomy of the human eye.